David, how bad are the attacks currently in the industrial sector? Well, these threats are real and they're actually happening today. The latest ICS CERT research said there were 295 reported incidents to them in the last year. And the real scary part is many more incidents go unreported. In the retail world, if someone steals your credit card or your personal information, we're going to hear about that because there are disclosure laws that say companies have to report that information. Well, in the industrial world, they don't have to report any of this information. In fact, they don't want to tell their customers that they've been breached, so they sweep a lot of these incidents under the rug. But it's happening every day to industrial customers all over the world. And it seems that the, the points of attack are kind of endless, and what's even scarier is that you know in the in the, the computing world we talk about you know things just being two or three years old, but man, the industrial systems go a lot older than that. Yeah, many industrial systems are 20 or 30 years old, and they were built at a time when security was not even an issue. So they were built without authentication, without access control, without the kind of basics of security that we take for granted in the IT world. So we need to find solutions in ways of adding security into these environments without having to force companies to spend millions and tens and hundreds of millions of dollars to replace these systems that still have, in many cases, many years of life left in them. So what is, I guess, the best way to go about it? I mean, if I have an industrial space that's got 20-year-old equipment, I'm not going to replace it all. Where, how should I start? Sure. Well, the first thing you have to realize is you can't prevent every attack from happening. But what you can do is you can detect the attacks when they happen. And so the first thing you'd start with is detection. Effectively detect the attacks. Once you see that an attack has made its way into the network, contain it. Contain it means maybe it did break into one Windows PC in your industrial environment. That doesn't mean that it's actually compromised your entire manufacturing operation. You can still contain it, limit the damage, and keep it from making its way to other parts of your organization. Once you've contained it, then you want to respond. Response means kick off an incident response process aimed at limiting the damage, eliminating the threat from the systems that were compromised, returning those systems into a trusted state, and then getting those attackers out of your network altogether. Now you were saying some of the, some of the key vectors that they go after are Windows machines, and we discovered there's some really old Windows machines that are out there, and also just physical access. How are you going to deal with it once someone is inside? What are best ways to detect once inside? Yeah, so the first thing you want to worry about is the industrial network. So have I created zones of communication so if someone does break into one system, they can only get to the systems that really need to communicate with that one machine. In many environments, they have an open or a flat network, which means if you compromise one system, you have access to everything in the entire manufacturing operation. You want to zone things off so that doesn't happen. Once they make their way into a PC, you want to secure that industrial PC. That means knowing about what's changing on the systems. Have you patched the vulnerabilities on the system? Do you know if an attacker is on there? Do you have a way of monitoring those systems effectively? And then third, you want to get to the actual industrial controls, like the PLCs, the HMIs, the sensors, and the robots. You want to be able to know what's happening in those environments, know what's changing, and making sure they are up to the latest versions of firmware and updates that are available, even if they're not necessarily going to be as secure as something that's brand new that you brought in that was built with security from the ground up.